by Lopez. And they've got a good round kicker. Good kick by Lopez. That had some power on it. Lopez sticks his kicks in real hard, as you can see there. He dropped one right from the sky. Good hits. spinning kick executed by Hannigan that time. Well, Hannigan's very experienced. He's strong, hits hard. Lopez is just one of these wild guys that lets his hands fly around everywhere, but seems to have good luck doing it. Hannigan, 10th ranked in the division, is only 22 years of age. Catches a right hand from Lopez. And referee J.T. Will rules it a knockdown. Well, it's one of those flash knockdowns, and uh, Hannigan moved in with a left hook and caught one of uh, Lopez's left hook and just kind of caught him off balance, and down he went. Excitement continues here at the Metro Center in Rockford. Hannigan came back to him, Lopez with a right. Lopez with a jumping front kick. is right back into the midst of the fighting. Oh! A right hand that time caught Hannigan, but it was a slip, says J.T. Will. Well, Hannigan threw a spinning back kick in his own supporting foot. Now, there's a knockdown. Kick by Lopez. Hannigan insisting to JT Will. He's all right. Two knockdowns here in the first round. Defensive side kick there by Lopez. Caught Hannigan right up on the chest as he's moving in. Lopez is extremely quick. 26 years of age from Buffalo, Iowa. Lopez throws kicks almost like a karate point fighter. He throws them from all angles, and he doesn't really look like a contact karate fighter. Keeps his hands down. Very effective with those wild kicks there. Bob Hannigan, 28, 8 and 2. Rich Lopez, 7, 1 and 0. Flip fight here, and that's the end of round one. As we see Hannigan moving in with a left hook, and he just ran right into Lopez's left hook and caught him off balance, and down he went. That was one of the two knockdowns in round one. Let's look at Lopez in action. Oh, what a sidekick that was. Well, it was just a real solid sidekick. Lopez standing there. That's the way you do it in point karate. That's the way they train you to do it. When the attacker uh, comes across at you, you pick up and stomp on his chest, and that's what usually happens. John Wally, that's called keeping the distance, and indeed he did. As again, Hannigan down twice in round one. In that first round, Lopez with 16 kicks. He just threw them from everywhere. Round two is underway. These middleweights, again, are set to go seven rounds. Good kicking by Lopez. Hannigan has to regroup himself. Hannigan coming right through on top of us, including Coca-Cola all over the broadcast area. Just terrific. Right through the ropes, a sidekick knocking Hannigan right in our laps. Sam Smith a little bit disjointed right now. It will be a little damp the rest of the evening, folks. Maybe somebody will get us a towel here. I would hope they might. I'll tell you what, I'm taking my soft drink and putting it on the floor. I'm taking mine, what's left of it, and sending it home. Bob Hannigan, nonetheless, shows ill effects from coming through the ropes. Once again, I don't think he was hurt, but I, uh, it's got to be just sort of disconcerting to have yourself not completely through the ropes. Lopez throws these kicks with just tremendous abandon. Just jumps, spins, throws them from everywhere. Lopez takes it. He height advantage at 6'2". Of course, is one of the big things for him right now. At 171 pounds to 5'9 for Bob Hannigan. And that is a big advantage at the moment. The question in my mind is whether or not Lopez is going to be able to maintain this kind of a pace for a seven round fight. He has just really been putting out tremendous energy that may be a little bit of an experience lapse on his part. Bob Hannigan has been around a while. He's not going to become rattled, I don't think. If one of the jump back kicks hits that Lopez has been throwing, though, Hannigan could be out for sure. That's those are tremendous kicks. You see the time, only 20 seconds and under now in round number two, set for seven rounds for these two. As the middleweights have put on quite a show here early. And this one from Rockford, Illinois. Leaping Lopez showing you why with a good spinning kick there. Hannigan will have to regroup as we get ready for round three. Bob Hannigan was through the ropes and right in front of us and all over us as a matter of fact a moment ago. Just a front side kick that Hannigan tries to get away from but just nowhere to hide and here he comes right into Sam Smith's lap. There we are. <laughs> Uh, Hello, Bob. When he's open after this, this is Lopez's corner. Every time he kicks, we're working good, too. He, he got a good over there. I mean, just a good one. Second style. Here we go. Bell 
Salas to open round three. Coming out quickly, leaping Lopez. Side kick by Hannigan. Hannigan answering with a reverse kick of his own. And having to really have a hard time dealing with the unorthodox style of Rich Lopez. John Worley scoring our fights all night long. John, how about this fight so far? Well, I, I, unofficially, I have Lopez ahead after the second round, 20 to 17. And Hannigan just having no luck so far dealing with that kicking advantage that Lopez has at this point. Lopez really holding Hannigan at bay. Keep in mind, Hannigan, 10th ranked in the middleweight division. Lopez just taking that front kick and just kind of dropping it right on top of Hannigan. Some people call that an axe kick. You just take it and drop it right straight down on the back of the neck. Lopez has been very successful with that particular kick so far. He's hit uh, Hannigan with it several times. I think Lopez is starting to see his energy drain a little bit, though. He doesn't seem to be throwing these kicks with quite as much frequency, although he's still throwing them hard every time. There's another one of those round side kicks by Lopez catching Hannigan. Hannigan, once again, gets slapped in the face by that axe kick that Lopez throws with his left leg. Lopez's hands are down, and most times people would think that he'd be very vulnerable. Because of his kicking skill, though, it makes it hard to get inside where you can hit him in the head. Some tremendous force on the kicks by Lopez as you see the time there in round three. Good spinning back fist that time by Lopez. He's got an arsenal of weapons. Well, when you get a kicker like Lopez, you have to concentrate so much on those kicks, it means his hands are more effective. Even if he doesn't necessarily have effective hands, he's able to hit you. The time winding down here for the end of round three. Leaping Lopez looking good. Bob Hannigan having to regroup. We'll be coming up with more in a moment. Don't be left in the dark when it comes to personal defense. Now you can learn the basics of self-defense. An excellent execution by Lopez here, John. Well, he's just throwing that back leg round kick with a lot of power and following up well with his hands, but then at that time, Hannigan was able to seal off the round kick and avoid the punches. Here's a spinning back fist. Actually, Lopez got his hand around a little too soon on that spinning back, uh, back fist. Otherwise, I think Hannigan really would have been down. Good look at Leaping Lopez as he gets ready to start round four. Bob Hannigan coming out of his corner, meeting Lopez in the center of the round. That's a slip ruled by J.T. Well. Hannigan up quickly. Hannigan has really had a problem tonight with slips. It seems as though he's really kicking his own feet out from under him. He's trying to compensate for the leg reach that Lopez has, trying to reach back in himself to make up for the difference and falling down sometimes in the process. They had stopped the time momentarily to get some ice out of the ring. It is cleared now, and they're back. They're spinning back kick that time by Hannigan scored. Another one to the head. Lopez may have fended that one off, though. I'll tell you, Hannigan has been most effective with that spinning back kick out of Lopez's front leg roundhouse kick. He's hit him with it several times and fairly effectively. Ooh, just a jump in, spinning back kick there that Lopez decided to get the way out of there and wisely enough at the, considering that right hand that uh, Hannigan tried to counter with. Hannigan tried to kick that front foot out from under Lopez, try to get some kind of advantage here. Well, sweeping is, again, one of the ways that you can compensate for a good front leg is to try to sweep the front leg out from under your opponent. Good spinning back fist by Hannigan. Caught Lopez on the side of the face. Rich backs up, but now waits for Hannigan to come in again. I think this has been Hannigan's most effective round, and I think that's due primarily to Lopez having to slow the pace a little bit. He just came out at such a blazing pace with such wild kicking. And he's starting to run out of gas just a little bit. Either that or he's resting up for the later rounds. It would be interesting to know what the vertical jump of Lopez is because this man really gets off the canvas. It's up there. You see the time. We wind down here in round four. Hannigan with a crushing right. Lopez just trying to walk nonchalantly around the ring to shake it off. And the crowd's starting to get on Lopez a little bit. But they haven't been out here kicking 16, 17 kicks around either. Lopez and Hannigan, quite a show here at Rockville Illinois at the Metro Center. Their schedule goes seven for these middleweights. Hannigan, his opponent, 10th rank, but I'm telling you, the way Lopez is punching and kicking tonight, he is challenging Han Hannigan 
well, for a really, spot in those rankings. He really is. He's definitely providing a stiff challenge, and uh, at this point, I would have him a slightly ahead, and if he can just maintain the pace for the rest of these last three rounds, he may pull out an upset here. The bell sounds to start round five, and Leaping Lopez comes out with the sidekicks. Hannigan has enough and throws a wild right to back him up. A spinning back kick. Almost made contact by Hannigan. Making Lopez at least respect it to know it's there. Another slip on a push by Lopez. JT Will wipes the gloves and they're back to the attack. Well, Hannigan is always in good shape. He's always conditioned. And I think at this point he probably is a little fresher than Lopez. Lopez seems to be getting a little bit ragged. Once again, dangerously moving those hands down. And at this stage, his head is starting to become more vulnerable because he doesn't have the crispness in his legs to keep Hannigan from getting inside. You know, John, one of the things when you look at Lopez, you consider he's a, oh, there's a sidekick that really puts Hannigan down, but they're gonna roll another slip here. So JT Will says, no, he's off balance, no doubt, no knockdown. What happened at that point is he hit a non-target area. As Hannigan started to spin, Lopez's kick hit him in the back, and that's not a target area, so that's why it was not counted as a knockdown. He's certainly an exciting fighter. Nice spinning back kick then by Bob Hannigan. That's been his most effective kick in this fight. You know, John, you made an excellent point. There's those round kicks again and just, just side kicks, just bending Hannigan off. You made a good point that Hannigan, even though he was in trouble with a couple of knockdowns in the first round, has paced himself well and looks like he's pretty good and fresh here in round five, at least to continue with some good kicks and punches. Well, Hannigan wasn't hurt by the knockdowns, but they did count, of course, as knockdowns. And yeah, I think that, uh, I think Lopez is just gonna try to rest up here. So there's the end of round five. There's the bell and round six is underway. Bob Hannigan in the red. Rich Lopez, leaping with his nickname, come right out with a flurry. John Worley has been scoring this fight. Could be a little tougher to score now, isn't it, John? Well, uh, Hannigan has been closing the gap in these last couple of rounds, but I still have Lopez up by about two points based on the strength of the first three rounds. Keep in mind that Hannigan went down with two knockdowns in the first, so he indeed has made a nice comeback here. Lopez coasted a little bit through the fourth and fifth round. I'm sure he's thinking in terms of trying to make a good strong finish here in the sixth and seventh. Spinning kick that time by Hannigan, catching Lopez just on the hip. There's another one right in the center of the stomach. Lopez kind of shook it off and comes with a side kick and knocks him down. Once again, the kick hitting him in the back. Yeah, hit him in the back, no knockdown. JT Well, the referee who has the discretion to do such. With Hannigan spinning to initiate a kick of his own. Again, he is kicked in the back, and it's only a slip as ruled by the referee, J.T. Will. What Hannigan needs to do and is not doing is that Lopez is winding up a little bit on those back roundhouse kicks. Hannigan can be moving in and hitting him with his hands, but he's not. He's just respectful of the kick too much. There's that axe kick once again right off the top of the head and down on the shoulder of Hannigan. A charging Lopez is grappled with by Bob Hannigan. No clinching in TK Ferrati. I think the uh, fatigue of this fight is starting to show on Bob Hannigan as well. He's not really taking the advantages that Lopez has given him. That is such a weapon, John Worley. That axe kick is devastating. Once again, that's the flexibility that this Lopez has. He's really super flexible in his legs. Makes it awfully difficult because you don't know whether to look for the round kick or the axe kick. Good spinning kick by Hannigan, but there's a back fist that just misses by Lopez on the ropes on Hannigan. What an action-packed fight we have had, and there's the end of round six. Rich Lopez, another good round on the six, but Hannigan again got some good shots in. John, as we pick up some highlights of that round. There's a spinning back kick that Hannigan threw. Lopez was looking for the hook kick up high. He raised his arm up high, and that one really could have landed Hannigan just a little off target. Once again, there's one of those side kicks by Lopez that catches Hannigan in the back on the way around, knocking him down, but doesn't count as a knockdown because it's not hitting a target area. Well, this middleweight fight has been a dandy through six, and the final round is just around the corner. A very impressive statistic. Lopez, 20 kicks in the, in the uh, sixth round. There's the bell, and this is the seventh and final round. 
of the middleweights here in Rockford, Illinois. And this crowd is really into this one. I think Hannigan is just looking for the knockout now. He knows that he's behind, I would think. Hannigan running into that spinning jump kick by Lopez. Another one by Lopez. He's putting on a show but not scoring. That was a side kick that got in on Hannigan's face, though. Hannigan really ate the kick in, the round kick, and there's that spinning back kick out of the axe kick. Both fighters hitting each other hard with these kicks. And this is the seventh round. Oh, there's that side kick. Now a right hand. Oh, no, here comes Hannigan through again. JT Will getting over there. Now he goes over to Warren Lopez about hitting when Hannigan was down. Actually, Hannigan was coming through the ropes in. Jay Will pulled him out. This has probably been in one of the best 14 minutes of PK karate in quite some time, John Worley. Certainly seen all the kicks in the book with Rich Lopez here. He's been just spectacular in his kicking skills. They're coming at each other right to the very end of this, the seventh and final round. Axe kick off the shoulder of Hannigan. There's that front thrust kick that Lopez has used very effectively in the side kick. All of those straight line thrusting kicks that really make it hard to get inside. Wild left hand by Hannigan. Now Lopez is going to get on that bike and run a little bit. Hannigan just trying to load up and land the big right hand. I think he knows he's down on points, but he's just not going to have much luck, I'm afraid. He's flailing in on Lopez. Lopez counters with the left of his own. Kicking to keep Hannigan away. Oh, Hannigan with a spinning back off the ribs of Lopez. Fans have gotten their, certainly gotten their money's worth on this one, I'll tell you. What a fight by Leaping Lopez and Bob Hannigan, and you see their exchange at center ring here in Rockford, Illinois. You can see the variety, John Worley, that he enjoyed in this fight. A jump spinning wheel kick that just missed Bob Hannigan. He threw a million on him. There's that round kick that he didn't miss with. Well, let's find out what the decision might be as the two fighters are ready. And here again is our ring announcer, Mike Marino. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. Judge Byers scores the bout 69-66. Judge Rufus scores the bout 69-67. And Judge McNamara scores the bout 69-66. For your winner by unanimous decision, in the blue corner, Rich Leaping Lopez. Rich Leaping Lopez chalks up another middleweight victory in the Midwest and begins thinking about a U.S. title challenge.